What's going on everyone? Games here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be checking out Little Nightmares. So this is a game I've been wanting to play for quite some time. We just got it from Gamefly, so let's do this. Who the hell is that? Creepy lady with a mask. Oh goodness. Oh god. Oh, there we are. So for those of you who don't know, this is kind of an indie game. Um, it's a shorter game. I believe it's only 45 hours long. You play as this little girl right here in the yellow raincoat. Her name is Six. Um, we wake up almost imprisoned within this place called the Maw. It's kind of where uh, big gluttonous fat people come to uh, just stuff their faces, and they uh, they do eat children, by the way. So. Point is, we gotta try to escape. All we are armed with is a lighter. We have that quick slide. You just saw that. That's left trigger. We can't attack anything. You have to hide. You have to run. If things are coming at you, avoid. There is no way to effectively defend yourself. So let's do this. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave that thumbs up before you go. It lets me know you like what we're doing. Let's do it. I'm gonna open this latch right here. So this I've been wanting to play for a while for a couple reasons. Um. Ever since it came out, it's just different. You know what I mean? It's a uh, it's a puzzle based puzzle based platformer. Excuse my language, but uh, it's been a while since I played a game like this. So, like I said, I'm gonna be checking out new games on the channel, guys. I don't just want to play Dark Souls forever. Obviously, I like Dark Souls, but like I said, I want to check out other things. We were checking out Prey, but for the Xbox One, it had a bunch of issues. It kept crashing. Like I'm talking hard crashes and booting right back to the title screen. So we just couldn't continue Prey. It was good at the beginning, but oh shit, look at that. Those are some big chains, dude. God damn. I like in this game how uh, you're, you know, you're so small. You have to figure out how to make it through these rooms that are built for these normal... Oh, what's this? They're built for these normal-sized people. It's a really cool concept. We broke it. Something happened. Did you just hear that? That was a... Uh, you figured out a secret. I don't know if it was, though. Slide right under this bitch. Alright, so essentially, a lot of the rooms, like I said, are puzzles, so you have to figure out what you need to do to, uh, you know, progress, whether it be sliding uh, items up to get up higher, jumping down, oh shit, oh my, look at that, the legs hanging above the chair, oh Jesus, you poor bastard, oh my god, what a, what a fucked up thing for this little chick to be seeing, man, she's like, what, somebody borrow this chair, you don't need it anymore. God damn, man. But what kind of doesn't make sense is, wouldn't his legs beat out a little lower? Like, how is he standing on that chair? Unless he jumped and put his neck in it. I don't know. So, we're going to pull the chair over to the door, jump on the knob, and whoop, there we go. See, stuff like that. You got to figure it out. Jumping, you actually go pretty quick. Fridge with handprints. Maybe we can open it. Hallelujah. What the fuck was that? Something just ran when we opened that fridge. I don't know what it was, though. Let's go chase it and find out what it was. Let's see! Ah, so these serves have checkpoints, I believe. Oh, look at He's happy. He's getting warm. Pick him up. Ah, oh, she's giving him a hug! Another special noise. I don't know what that does, but... Look, he's like a little gnome guy. He's following us around. We hugged one time, man! You're smothering me! Jesus, these goddamn gnomes. You give them one hug and they just want to fucking follow you around for the rest of your life. Clingy. Look at this shit. Stop being so clingy! We're going up the fridge. That's so cool, using it as a ladder. Because we're so tiny. We're so small. All right, so we gotta get in, get in! All right, we made it. Uh, those things up there hanging, you see on that pipe, guys? Those are like little worm things that come down and try to strangle you. That's no, very nice. Sweet! <laughs> I was gonna try to climb that. I didn't even mean to press back. Figured it out. We're figuring it out. Oh, another gnome! Oh, you little piece of shit! Was that on purpose? Oh god, oh god, like I was just telling you guys about. Look at, there's so many of them. Oh god, run, six, run. Just go, six, go. Oh Jesus. Jesus. There's too many of them. There's too many. Oh my god, alright, we did it. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Alright, here we go. Jump. Oh my god, we almost fell. God damn. Oh, checkpoint. Woo. 
All right. It took a while to get this from Gamefly, man. The availability was low, so we have a crank here. Let's crank this up. A little platform puzzle right here. We gotta jump across there, I believe, to be able to make it in before it closes. So here we go. Let's do it, bitch. Six, run. What are you? No. Yeah, we're gonna have to try to jump it. All right, one more time. One more time. Second time's the charm. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna. I don't know if we're gonna make that, dude. You better jump, girl. There you go. Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. No! <laughs> we got fucking smushed by the door. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Maybe I just got to sprint and don't jump. I thought jumping kind of seemed like it was faster than running, but fuck it. Here we go. But fuck it. All right, hold X to sprint. I got it. If you can't figure something out, they kind of give you a hint after a while. All right, there we go. Even though I only died once. What's in here? I know we can open these because we went through the one in the beginning. No? How the fuck do we open it? I swear to God, gnome. There's a gnome on the other side holding that shot. He's like, no, 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 you can't come in. No, no, no. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. There really fucking was one, dude. <laughs> I was just completely fucking kidding. I didn't know there was going to be one around the other side. See, shit like that, dude. This game is cool, man. I really like it so far. I do. You know, it's not a crazy action-packed game. It has the horror theme to it, but it's different. You know, it's a puzzle platformer. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? He's dragging a cage. I wonder who's in that cage. <gasps> you poor little bastards. There's just kids everywhere being made into meals for whatever fucking reason. This is like the hostel with fat people who like to eat children, basically, guys. You know? You pay that you pay that handsome that handsome fee. You get to come aboard the mall and eat kids for as as much as you'd like. Eat as many children as you want. Alright, here we go. We're in the bathroom. Great. Uh, oh, that looks like it has electric problems. All right, uh, let's behind this door, see if we can shut it. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. We got a switch. Cannot reach it, I don't think. No. Well, let's drag the TP over. Maybe we can stand on it. There we go. Yep. We need TP. TP for our switch hole. All right, here we go. Run, Sex! You fucking run! All right, we're in. Imagine if that just turned back on. What the fuck is this shit? We got some blocks here and some beautiful sculptures. Fuck your sculptures, bitch. Oh, no. Why is that ball moving by itself? I don't like that. Oh, yeah, never mind. We're on a uh, ship. Oh, did you hear that? Sounds like a train. Oh, we got tracks. Is there a little train? There's a train. Oh, it's so cute. Look at the train. It's so cute. Let's see if we can derail it with these blocks. Watch when he comes back around the conductor. Ready? Oh my god! There's something on the tracks! Oh my god! And nothing. Wow, that was anticlimactic. Okay. Um. Fuck that ball. <laughs> the train was like, huh? Fuck you, train! Fuck you, train! Ugh! Alright, so we can knock the train off the track. I don't know why that's there. Whatever. Nice decoration. I like the whole art style of this game. It's really fucking cool, man. It really is. And we need to get up there. We gotta go up on the uh, seesaw. We gotta go down and up. Alright, so I think we just have to run all the way across the room when we hit that switch, guys. I thought you just had to get through the first one. I don't know why they put so much like cool shit to check out in here, but they do give you a path back, so I guess that's the reason why. Let's do it again! We have to run the entire span of that room. Here we go. Get that lighter out, girl. No, fuck the lighter. We're just gonna go for it. Get in there! I can't see. I should have pulled out the lighter. Oh no. Jesus, what am I doing? Here we go. Ah, she's tripping over shit. <laughs> I can't see. It's so dark. It's so dark. All right, here we go. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? And we made it. Alright, so we cannot be seen by this light or else it turns you effectively into stone. Look at those kids. They are already dead. They're turned into stone right there. Come on, man. This game's fucking gruesome, dude. I've never seen a game with so much, like, child death in it. We've only been playing for, like, a half an hour so far. Holy shit. We made it past the stony light. The stony light. Oh, no. There's a little gnome in a cage. Let's go free him, guys. I don't like seeing gnomes in cages. Here we go. 
Go ahead and light this checkpoint. Thank you very much. Don't worry, gnome. I'm coming for you. I didn't wear this raincoat for nothing. So I wonder what the story is. There's not much story in this game, but I wonder, like, you know, how, how she ended up on this, uh... Oh, he's gone. That wasn't a cage. It was open the whole time. You wasted my time, gnome. Oh, no. What's he looking at? He's so sad. He's looking at his picture of his family. He's like, I miss my mom and dad. I miss him so much. Let's give him a hug. I don't know what that noise is, man, but I think it's something we have to do. Because, look, they get all happy and start following you and shit. Look at them. Oh, are you my daddy? Are you my new daddy? You needy fucking gnomes! Oh, my God. Can we get the fuck away from this man? It was one hug. One time. That's it. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, baby girl. Hi, it's a baby. My puppies. Oh my god, what the hell is that? And why her is. Dude, why is his arm so fucking long? What is that? That was that thing dragging the cage up there. Oh shitty fuck. He's here to check on the kids, I guess. He doesn't know one escaped, or does he? I don't know. <gasps> is he smelling us? Oh my god, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. No, he's in the other room. Climb, 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 climb. He has those long arms, man. Get the fuck out of there, man. Oh, I feel a little safer now we're up here. Yes, we did it. I'm sure that guy's going to be a nuisance. He's probably going to chase us around the game for a while, I bet. I wonder if we get to ever kill him. I wonder if we ever get to kill Mr. Long Arms down there. That's fucking creepy looking, dude. This is like a Tim Burton movie. But like a horror-esque puzzle platformer. It's pretty cool. I like it so far. So far, so good, man. Like I said, this is something different. I wanted to definitely check it out, and I'm glad that I got it from Gamefly. Oh, what's going on? What's the matter, Six? What's wrong, Six? Is she hungry? Her stomach hurt? She got a she got a stomach ache? Oh yeah. That sounds like a hungry stomach, man. What's the deal? Do we have to eat? Was I supposed to be eating this whole time? Am I fucking up? I don't know. What's that? Oh, there's a kid in there. Yo, we're hungry, man. Can I have a piece of your bread? Oh. Uh. Food. Eat it. Yes. All right. So maybe we're not supposed to eat the whole time. Maybe it was just something in the game right here. I don't know. The lights are flickering as we're eating. I don't know what that means, but I don't know if it's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so we got another one of these lights. We have to stay behind this rolling thing. It's kind of rolling with the waves of the boat. It's pretty cool. So we're nearing the end of the video, guys. I don't want to make this too long. That's why I'm kind of doing, like, clips of sorts. Um, this game's pretty fucking sweet. I absolutely enjoy it. So I might actually do the whole playthrough. I know it's a short game, so we might put the whole thing on the channel. Hopefully you guys come check it out with me, man. It's really cool. If you haven't played it yet, I encourage you to go pick it up. If you're into puzzle games at all, uh, it's a really great puzzle game. You know, they're not too hard. Kind of easy to figure out, but it's also a platformer, as you can see. Um, but it's different. Like I said, it's different, man. Yeah, I, haven't, I haven't really played anything like this ever, so I'm excited. We made it. We made it across the bridge of doom. What do we got in here? Two gnomes for the price of one. Get back here, gnome! Is that it? I think we may have beat chapter one. I think that might have been it. Little nightmares dancing in your head. Little nightmares, be careful or you'll be dead. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel, man. Uh, you know, if you're into playing games, having a good time, definitely subscribe before you go. We've got a great group of people here. Um, I wanted to branch out a little bit from Dark Souls. I'm still going to do Dark Souls 3 videos, but uh, I'm definitely going to be branching out. So I believe this is Chapter 2. We're going to end it here. We'll save that for the next video. This has been interesting. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it very much. We will see you on the next one, guys. Enjoy the day. Peace.